Well, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we're a hot mess this morning. We're home. That's what matters. We're home. Yeah, but definitely you can tell we're both off our game. Like words are hard. Motions are hard. Mm -hmm. It took him five minutes to do the legs on the tripod. Well, we didn't get everything inside. So, yeah. you know, last night was a mad dash of getting home. And we had a bunch of stuff to do uh, once we got home. And it was already, what, 8.30, almost 9 o'clock or something when we pulled in last night. So no, it's already yeah. dark. And we grabbed the half-twos out of the nugget. And that was it. And that was it. So it was like, all right, let's get the other things we had to take care of taken care of. Yeah. And, and we did not get to go to sleep when we got home because we had some imminent things that we had to accomplish before we could do that. But you have to wait because that's on. I ain't going to spill those beans. Uh, but yeah, we were out working even after we got home. So stay tuned for that. Uh it, but all is well. It all went well. We finally showered and literally dropped into bed. Of course, Charles, from the moment we got home, meow, 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 mm. meow, and just all up in our business. Maya was super excited. Just the feeder's trying to do it. No, its... that's the ice maker in the freezer making ice. Nah, -uh, that's the Wee Pet. Your hearing's a little wonky this morning. Our automatic feeder and our automatic water are taking a doo-doo. So, Charles is gonna be getting an upgrade. Callie's doing great up in the fifth wheel. But yeah, uh, you get what you pay for, I guess, I don't know, but. Yeah, I mean, that feeder's actually for, we bought it at one of these like, bargain outlet places or something amazon so, pallet type thing it's uh and we got that what three years ago four four years ago something like that we've had it for a while yeah. and so not mad necessarily we definitely need to look at doing some upgrade and then yeah. the water the pump on it it'd been getting kind of yeah making noise and stuff well so. and it it's funny and i think it's honestly it's probably from uh, you know the animals when they're drinking you know slobber the backwash because our water if i take and put water in a cup and set it you know for a couple of days it doesn't get anything but that water i think it's a lot of the backwash from the animals and mm -hmm. well let's just be honest Maya is not clean about drinking. No. She needs a bib around her bowl and it reminds me of my St. Bernard's. I got to the point where they they had to be on the the vinyl flooring or linoleum or whatever. I couldn't have yeah. anything and they actually when the mom and dad to my pop they only got water um in the bathtub of the house or outside. Hmm. They would put their bucket of water because being St. Bernard's, oh my gosh, they slopped water everywhere. So mom and them had actually put the water bucket in the bathtub. Hmm. And Interesting. that way they were in there or they got water outside, but they weren't allowed to have it anywhere else in the house. Yeah. So. And we're, we have Maya. We have Maya every, you know, all day, every day. Because Jenna is at her first day of her new job. So she's really nervous and stuff but uh she did a great job here on the homestead i mean yeah we lost some things but nothing i can't replant um but the garden is looking phenomenal i'm really pleased with that but today we're just as exhausted as we are we're trying to gather our thoughts about how to progress to get the most accomplished in the few days that we have home before we have to leave out for oklahoma and I have a lot to do on my end. And he, as far as like editing and I haven't checked emails in a week. Uh, I have to, oh, got the transfers in for the merch. So somewhere we have to set up shop so I can punch out some merch or at least try to. I don't know what I'm doing. It's the first time and 
I wanted to, <clears throat> I wanted to do shirts for friends too, you know, uh, with their logos, but being that this is my first trial, I didn't want to give them an inferior thing. <laughs> so I am well, just we just, out my, I, I mean, and they understand and it's one of those that yeah. it's just, there's only so much time in a day and we try to cram more than we probably should in one day just to get her done and timelines and stuff and uh but yeah it'll it'll definitely be it's gonna be odd because it's gonna it, we have no choice but to have a few days the next few days is gonna be a divide and conquer because we're gonna have to be doing two projects at the same time to be able to get the few things i mean the nugget thankfully is good to go a little bit of you know pull clothes out get some laundry yeah. done kind of refit it it'll be I'll clean some, you know. I'm gonna leave it, it parked over. right in the driveway. I'm not even putting it in this little hole. Yeah, cause um, we're just pulling it back out. Yeah, and... so I'll, I'll chalk it up because I do have to disconnect the truck. Uh, we've got. We gotta make a feed run. Right, but I've got stuff in the bed of the truck. We gotta pull out. <sighs> That's right. That's um, right. Because we have the honey wagon in there, which. We didn't even end up using. There's a KOA. But if, down if by I the wouldn't guy. have taken it, we would have needed it. So, but I'm gonna pull that out because we already know we don't need that for ten killer because mm -hmm. we're gonna be hooked up on sewers. So, that'll be good to come out. Um, her dad and stepmom gave us a chest freezer. Another little chest freezer. Yeah. So I gotta find a place for that. Uh, probably yeah. not gonna get plugged in right away just because we don't, I don't have anywhere have... to plug it in. Now. Right in we're at a point Darn that youtube studio why isn't it built yet i mean come on yeah we're just twiddling our thumbs and not getting the youtube studio built and i've got Darn pretty it. much every extension cord i have available is running other things which if oh. one of the projects that we need to get done in the next couple of days is getting the plastic off the greenhouse yep we got to do that before and we go in doing that means i am gonna free up at least one of Mm. my big heavy extension cords so i don't know but anyways it's all part of cleaning the truck our brains out. are like well and then her dad gave me uh a nice 220 stick welder um he he's got a wire feed welder now and the little things that he might tinker with in his shop uh all he needs is that wire welder so he's like well you need a welder you got all this heavy duty stuff so i got a welder y'all um, of course I have to wire in a plug-in cause it's 220 and figure out where the, you know, but I need to get those emptied because thinking about the trip to 10 killer and what we need to bring, we have a lot that we, I'm going to have bring. to pull the topper off. Um, and so, but then cleaning the bed out, like you started to say was I've got to do a feed run because it, pretty much everybody except for the rabbits are. We gave them their last bit of feed this morning. Well, we were gone longer than than we thought. Like, it was only spo originally supposed to be Friday to Friday. Um, and actually, Friday being a travel day and coming home Friday being a travel day. So, y'all been with us, you know, that we were there longer. And so, we hadn't thought about that with the feed. So, uh, we will have to make a feed run. Uh yeah there's we got lists to make we yeah got things to do uh and but we're just gonna start punching it out it's awesome to be home i mean uh, you know we're kind of exhausted you know kind just, of <laughs> well from the travel but i think a lot yeah. of it honestly at this point it's not even a physical exhaustion it's just the mental exhaustion mm. you know of dealing with dad and his medical stuff all week and you know plus even though we knew that things were handled well here at home we still worry because we have a lot of time, you know, money and effort put into everything that we've got done around here. And mm -hmm. like she said, Jenna did amazing. Of and keeping, Jake did some things too. Yeah. Jenna, since she wasn't working, she rogered up for pretty much, you know, holding down the fort. That jar is up there very precariously. Fortunately, that one's plastic, but uh -oh. yeah. Yeah. Sorry, squirrel moment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, being gone a week, we come back and trees are having leaves on them fully Crazy. now. Crazy. It's like we were gone a month. Yeah. And I definitely got areas where I've got to run the weed whipper. All right. Uh, at least to knock down like the walking paths and that kind of stuff. Um, 
I'm not to the point, I probably truly should pull the backhoe off and put the, um, words are hard, brush hog on, but I'm just thinking right now, is the tractor even here? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I even seen it yet. Uh, we had a friend, our friend's buddy Belinda, a buddy wanted to use the tractor and I wasn't sure if he had come over and got it. So I might be checking in with him and see if that's something he still needs over the weekend. I don't know. Well, if, if he needs it, I mean, they live close enough, uh, enough to us. They were just going to drive the tractor. Um, so he knows where it's at. Yeah. And we'll touch base with them. But uh, yeah, it's uh, getting things. I, I got 30 pounds of bacon that I got a vacuum seal. Uh, so we brought that in and after, we haven't even had breakfast yet. Um, no, it's been, you know, hit, hit the ground. We had to get out and get chores done, get the garden stuff taken care of before the sun really come up today. I think it's supposed to be a pretty decent day. It's beautiful. Um, but then tomorrow, I think when I was looking, there's a chance. What's today? Monday, Tuesday. So Tuesday or Wednesday, one of the two days, we're supposed to be getting some storms uh, or a chance of them. So. We got to see what that looks like. But yeah. We'll it's... make the best of the three days. And we're excited to get to 10 Killer and excited to see all of our friends and new, make new friends as well. Uh, it's it's going to be fun. Uh, we are going to be arriving on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eric from Tilted K is actually going to be riding with us. Uh, keep them in your prayers. Missy was coming back from visiting with her new grandbabies and kids and oh you're gonna spill all that huh no That's keep them in your prayers spill. you're right you're right yeah yeah so. they it, nothing's nothing overly serious guys just they're all fine yeah but eric's gonna be riding with us yeah they uh so which honestly i think in the end works out better you know because he was gonna follow us but it's like yeah. we're going to the same place so we we're probably gonna have a little bit of a convoy because i know ryan and jess over at uh Mm -hmm. Backroads Homestead, they're, I think we're convoying. I need to double check and kind of link up with them. Um, I mean, we've been talking to them, but I need to get with Ryan and just lock on times of mm -hmm. leaving and a meetup spot and that kind of stuff. And then um, we got to double check with Keith and Mickey. Like, we might have a whole convoy. Convoy! Um, rolling over there because yeah. I I don't remember if they said they're coming Thursday or if they're waiting till Friday. I mean, y'all, North Central Arkansas is representing. We're going to have quite a few of us. Uh, our whole group is going. Yeah. So we're excited about that. Uh, it's going to be just a great time. I'm not sure... Was Keith and Mickey camping or did they get... They're staying. They've got a... Um, they're not camping. They oh, got, they got a place. They yeah. got... Yeah, I can't remember if they said it was a cabin or a room somewhere. Plus, you got to get our awning things fixed. Those, yeah. We have two of those pop-up shelters. They're both broke. Literally, like, within days of getting numb, the wind... Uh, well, it was, yeah, the wind, but we... Water. Rain. We had left them. My mistake. Left them out during the rain. And, you know, for some of you that have been around long enough, know, like we did the, her big birthday party, the 50th last, this last November, and we had five or six, like everybody that showed up because it was raining like crazy. And so we had five or six different pop-up awnings and everybody's awning did fine because we had all that rain. Thankfully, I would have felt bad if it was someone and of else's course, awning. Right. And then everybody left them because it was raining like why pack them up wet and the ones that brought them were local anyway so it was one of those hey guys just leave them here come back in a day or two when the things are dried out it's fine and yeah i came out the next morning and out of all of them ours was the one that decided it was gonna fill with water instead of shedding it off and collapse and broke a couple pieces and we literally but, had just bought it yeah and the other one that we had that we were using over my makeshift summer kitchen last last season was literally zip tied together in multiple places. Yeah. So they're they're definitely not designed to leave up overnight. I've learned that lesson. Like, hey, use it, and then doesn't matter how tired or late it is, break it down, and yeah. set it to the side. And so, but we have two of them that they're exactly the same because we went and bought that second one after the first one broke, and I can use pieces and parts off the framing of the more broker one. 
and make a gooder one out of it, right? That's what we're hoping. If not, we'll just have to go buy another one because we we do in, enjoy taking those with us to the yeah uh, uh, to the meetups because you always end up fellowshipping and sometimes in the summertime that sun can be brutal and it's nice to just have a shady place to sit and in, and there is a chance looking at the weather over in Oklahoma this weekend like they're they're possibly looking at four or five days of rain which runs right over the weekend and. Which, you know, that area of Oklahoma needs the rain. They really do. Mm-hmm. I just hope that it holds off for the weekend. Like, let it get them, hit them on Monday <laughs> or, you know, because, um, yeah, they they are, they never get rain over there. I don't know. They're in a, you're never going to get rain. Might as well be a desert, I guess. Um, so, I mean, they really, the farmers and everybody need it, but we don't need it because we have a meetup and we want everyone to be comfortable and dry. But we'll make it work. Yeah, we'll make it work. But that's so, kind of what we got. Bleh, 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 kind of what we have got on our schedules for the next couple of days. And I'd like to get a video out Tuesday. It's going to be a mishmash because, you know, yeah, we were in Tennessee. And so I've just got what I got. And I'll have to try to make it into something fun. And then uh, we've been filming since last night. But yeah, I've got some editing to do, and then yeah, it'll it'll be in between. I mean, we get ourselves overwhelmed to start naming the list, so we try not to do that. But in our brains, we know, hey, we need to kind of keep track of what needs done. Yeah. Um, just everyday stuff, honestly, guys. I, I think it just adds a little more chaos to it because we've been gone. We've been thinking about home the whole time, and then to come home and be like, all right, now we have to you know, fix up anything that went awry and prep knowing, hey, there's more stages, especially with a garden, right? It's not going to stop growing. It looks amazing. I have zucchini. Yeah. There's oh, there's some there's actual some little, zucchinis growing. little zucchinis popping finally. I'm so, so excited. Um, But we that stuff's yeah. going to keep growing and it's going to keep going. And, you know, we're still going to take our time and, and go, you know, enjoy the meetup and you know, do the things that we need to do and enjoy some fellowship with friends in between and stuff like that. So uh, we signed up for it. We knew it was going mm. by all means. Don't think this is a, a complaining video. No, we're of any excited sort. for all like, the events. Just, uh, yeah. And I'll... hopefully this is going to be a great opportunity. Uh, we're, we're hoping that a bunch of you that watch this are having a chance to come to, you know, if you can't make it to Ten Killer this next weekend, there's one in Missouri coming up, and there's also uh, another Lake. one at Blue Mountain Lake in Arkansas. Yeah. So, you know, plenty of meetups, and I'm sure there's more listed out there, but those are the three we know we're going to. So those are yeah. the three we always focus. And we on. can't Roger up for any more. <laughs> yeah. We just we just can't because I'm I'm hoping that when we come back from Ten Killer, uh, short of just your garden chores. We will be hitting it again on the YouTube studio. Uh, we've got to mill up some more two by fours. Yeah. Because we need to make sure that we have enough two by fours for all the framing. Because once we put the floor down, we've got to get the the walls in the room. Like we need to have our supplies. Right. Uh, so that we're not open to the elements for very long, and so we're really trying hard to get all that lumber cut, so that. We can then you'll see tons of progress because you know we're pretty fast framers and that's going to go up really quick once we finally get there. So that's we we really need to hit that. I don't think there's anything other than the garden that would take precedence over the YouTube studio at this stage, right? She's so cute, isn't she? I know you guys giggled inside too. I'm going to giggle outside because that's cute. That's I'm trying. Yeah. Um, and my starter dough, uh, I pulled the starter out of the fridge. It was in the fridge, um, all week and I fed it this morning and she is hungry is that she's our bubbling. Um, I'm going to be saving all my sourdough discard. <laughs> I don't discard anything. Come on, let's be real. But, uh, I've got several people that have asked me to bring them starter. So I will be bringing, uh, as many jars as we can possibly have uh over there as well as I'd like to do some more baking before we go to I want to make some more bagels 
I want to do some multiples. I might actually, depending on what time that peaks, I might make up two loaves of sourdough and try the open oven baking method instead of the Dutch oven. I've seen it done. We'll try. But if I can do two loaves, then I yeah, can double it. Yeah, she's getting ahead of herself, yeah. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, I know this is probably on the shorter side, but that's okay, guys. Uh, we literally, ha I'm sure this one is just a mishmash of our random thoughts because you're literally getting word vomit out of our mouth as we're like well, that's the whole point the brain with the, stuff. Yeah. That's the whole point with the coffee chat. So, but we're home guys and we appreciate all the support and the thoughts and prayers for dad and our safe travels. Um, as you see, we're home and no major catastrophes. You know, we had the tire blowout going to Tennessee, but four new tires on that bad. It was a nice nugget, home. And it, it actually rode a lot better. So I'm glad that, uh, we went ahead and made that much needed upgrade. So mm -hmm. no, no big things coming back from that, but we're, we're hitting the ground running guys. So I'm going to get breakfast done, stick around and, yeah. uh, we appreciate your support and all the thoughts, prayers, and just enjoying what we're putting out. And if you guys are enjoying it, share it, share it out there. Um, we'd love to reach more people and, you know, we, we met more people while we were in Tennessee and we know that they're following now and, you know, that's awesome. It, it still blows our mind that you all just want to watch us do our everyday random shit. Even when it is but, boring stuff, like, you yeah. know, doing nothing. But, so, all right, guys, we're going to get to work Bye. after breakfast. Have a great week. See ya.